Hello! Hi again, it's me. I'm back. Um, and do you remember the minion video? Well, we're doing something a little similar. Today I've got a burger. So this, um, this is a burger telephone. Um, it was popularized by the film Juno. A lot of people use, use these as just regular analog phones and some people still do. I mean, you got an apartment buzzer and you don't want to have a buzzer because you you know, pay for extra power and everything. You use one of these, you can use a burger phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be turning it into a couple different things. So last night, upon figuring out how to take this apart, uh, I came across how you take it apart. Uh, first, I thought you'd pry along here, across the burger part, that did not work. I then thought you maybe a pry across here, that did not work. What you're supposed to start with, you're supposed to start by prying up the little tone and pulse sticker here, which will reveal you two screws. So now that we've taken this bit apart, um, you'll notice if I just do that, it kind of pops up a little bit. Inside of this, there are two speakers, one microphone. So the first speaker is right here on the top. This is so that you can hear when the phone rings. That was these two, this is the blue and the gray. Then you have the earpiece, which is that one there which is the red and white one that you can see on the inside. Unfortunately, the white one is broken. Um, I don't know if that was me or it came like that or what. Um, and then obviously you have the microphone on the inside, um, which we'll, we'll get to later. Um, then it kind of just pops on out like this. As a waste as it seems, I think the most logical first step is removing the uh, main motherboard to clear up room on the inside which luckily I think the keypad is separate because I'd love to keep the keypad I think the keypad's pretty cool but there are four more screws on the inside um, if you can see that uh, that will keep this together when we take off the main motherboard um, so I don't feel too bad coming in here with a knife that I should be cutting up amazing I can also salvage a uh, switch from this and a momentary button. This, you do not need. You don't need this power cable. I'm planning on turning the microphone into, peeping out a microphone, um, and turning the speaker into a guitar amp. These. So our main speaker is a piezo speaker. Um, what it is, is a little thin disc um, that you would stick to something. It would vibrate the surface that it's connected to, and its vibrations on those surface are what would cause it to create sound. Um, so it's just a little disc, you can see the disc there, that's all the disc is, it's basically like a millimeter thick. Uh, the rest of it is just a casing they've made. Hello, so it is me, I'm I am the, uh, the narrator for this section of the video. Oh, you're watching me on Solid, oh look at me go. Well, we want a lot of length, I think. Yeah, this is true, you do want a low length. And then I'll make the negative black for this one. Smart choice, smart choice. I've got one of my really cheap, shitty soldering irons. Um, so it's just really cheap and shitty. <laughs> I'll put the microphone in the back of it. I'll put the guitar in the front. So as I'm saying, uh, don't do anything that I do within the next like three, four minutes, because a lot of it's very dumb. Uh, especially that. That is stupid. So again, for the record, never do what I just did. Not good. Bad will kill you. Probably. <laughs> the hole's still not big enough anyway, so... Just make it a little bigger. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to fit the jack through. Yeah, you just gotta fit the jack through. Keep, keep brute force until it goes through. Even if you're just circling the drill around because you don't have a big enough drill bit like I'm doing now. Here we go, okay, I think this is probably the best we'd get. So I'm gonna cover it up with a washer because I don't want people seeing my horrible fucking job. We've got our bottom parts drilled in, so we can ignore this now. We can just pop this off to the side. Possible. In a lot of situations. Putting it together was a little more tricky than I anticipated. <laughs> but 
It's now back together. Almost. So I'm gonna do the screws and I think I'm missing one somewhere. What I'm gonna be doing is connecting it to my computer, uh, giving it phantom power, and then seeing if I can get things to work. Yeah, it didn't work. Um, but it's fine because I fixed with a piezo, uh, which you can see here. No, you can't. The camera died. Um, Basically, I just used the piezo that was in the top of it, and I put that in the bottom instead, and that's how we did it. I just super glued it up to the bottom, and then I got the second microphone anyway, yeah, there you go. It works. It works very well, as you can see. We're actually getting a feed-in through the blue one, which is the microphone. The only issue... It's piezo, uh, which means it also reacts to literally everything that happens. Um... So, fingers crossed it's not too bad. <laughs> um, first of all, we're trying the front microphone, or the main microphone, which is the one that you, you know, speak through. Uh, so this is what this one sounds like uh, as a microphone. You kind of want to push it against your head as much as you can, and as much as you can then hear it distorting, and you can hear it, if you can hear me breathing, at least you don't hear the phone cracking. Whereas if I hold it like this, you can, do you hear it a lot clearer? Yes. You can hear any sort of light movements if this moves. That's all you can hear. So you could just hold the microphone and you could talk into it like this, and this could be how you use the burger fun microphone. Uh, it's really up to you. Uh, anyway, uh, that was the back plug, uh, which is the main microphone here. So now we've got the front plug, which I will admit originally was going to be a guitar amp. Did not work how I wanted it to, would not work. Mainly because there isn't any power going to it. So this is now the top microphone, um, or top speaker, as per se. Um, this is the one that, you know, you put your earth against. Uh, this one up here at the top, that's what this one is. Um, so you usually be like this, so you're kind of facing away from it. But I don't know, this might also sound alright, I'm not too sure. Uh, but if you use it correctly, you'd be holding the burger upside down. But then you're also distorting. Let me turn down the input slightly. Um, see if that helps turning down the input. Yes, it does. Cool, you feel a lot now, what's holding the microphone against your head? Okay. <laughs> um, this one works, again, a lot better like this, so that it's not touching you, so there's a little, a, a little movement as possible. Um, using it from the back, definitely worse, because the microphone isn't facing this way. Piezo is facing through the bottom, uh, that is bad design, I know, but I couldn't really do anything to fix it. Um, also, I'm going to go back to the piezo one second after turning down the input. Okay, so we're back onto the piezo, the front microphone. As you can hear, I'm speaking into it perfectly fine now. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be too much distortion. There is some distortion still when I move it around like this. So I'm, I'm now speaking directly into the numpad. I'm now speaking into the back of the burger phone. This should be a lot louder and a lot more distorted. Um, but shouldn't be peaking too often. Doesn't seem like it is. Um, yeah, it's quite impressive actually. As of uh, an abomination as this thing looks, having a jack in the back and a jack in the front, and completely a normal one is fine, and open other than the missing switch there. Forgetting that lo-fi kind of microphone feel, it definitely works. Uh, however, at that point, if what you're going for is a lo-fi microphone, you're better off just turning a regular landline phone into a microphone. Again, uses the earpiece microphone, but it'll sound so much better. Um, in fact, I'll give you an example. This is a lot better, and also it gives you a lot more leeway. You can be a lot more louder. In fact, I'm gonna turn up the the volume a bit more, just just so you can hear it better. So I'm talking into the microphone now. Um, I'm talking straight on. It is literally against my mouth. Like I cannot get any closer. But yeah, this is so much better. So much easier to do. But yeah, that was the uh, the burger fun. I do think I'm gonna use this for some things. I don't know what. But it could be quite interesting <laughs> to, to see what I can use this for.